Hello and welcome to my channel. Today's video is going to be a Halloween haul. I've had a few requests for another one of these and I've finally gathered enough stuff to record one. So that's what I'm going to be recording today. Also, just before I start, my Halloween collection for my shop Simply Gothic has just gone live um, at the time of filming this, like a few days ago. So yeah, if you did watch that video but didn't know that it had gone live, then it is all available to purchase including this one that I'm actually wearing and also this charm bracelet and you'll also see a few pieces in my upcoming outfit of the days as well so yeah my collection is now live if you'd like to go and have a look I'll leave the link for you in the description box I feel like not disappointed but I don't know TK Maxx's selection this year I think was good but I didn't find as many things I was really after like I've only bought I think five things from TK Maxx this year so I did a previous Halloween haul that I'll link in the eye for you and I got what did I get I got some oven gloves which I'm like put a putting away for when I move out. I bought an ornament that's up on my bookcase but I never managed to find like the girl version and I wanted the couple so I was a bit disappointed in that and I got a blanket that's gorgeous um, and then in this haul I got two more things from TK Maxx so I only actually bought five things in total. Not that their collection was bad like I think they had a lot of stuff but as I'm obviously trying not to buy too much there were things I liked but I thought realistically I don't need another ornament so I'm not sure what it was but let me know what you think of this year's TK Maxx and HomeSense collection we are at the end not the end we're at the middle of September now so TK Maxx's Halloween range has kind of come and gone that the rest of the stuff that's there like they won't be adding to it and Christmas is now in TK Maxx so the TK Maxx kind of good stuff is over for now but I did get two things from there so the first thing is absolutely massive and it's what's in the thumbnail so I found this it's insanely big and it's a tray like what you put your food on to eat now this doesn't look like a standard size tray like it's it's insane it looks more of like a serving tray it does have little handles um for like carrying drinks in maybe but i don't actually have a food tray and i do eat upstairs quite a lot of the time if i'm watching like films or things like that and i thought this would be really useful i also love this aesthetic like i wish tk maxx did more in this kind of print so kind of gothic looking kind of Edgar Allan Poe with the raven the skull not fast on this <laughs> um, but I'm pretending that's not there there's like a candelabra thing a death head moth like I absolutely love this aesthetic I do also have a Halloween like huge canvas that I bought from at home in America and it's one of my favorite things and it's in this aesthetic like florally not a lot of color to it skulls ravens bats moths like all of that i absolutely love it so when i saw this i love the aesthetic loved the print and i also thought it's useful and that's what i love when things look really nice but you can actually get some use out of them so i did get this it is just black on the other side it's got some weight to it i'd say it's pretty heavy but yeah as i said very useful it is like a metal as you might be able to hear so yeah this was the second to last thing i got from tk maxx this year and it was 12 pounds 99 they did some other ones they did like a bluey gray with a skull and i thought oh maybe i have that and there was a giant like thin spider sat on top of the skull like it was really obvious and i was like yeah maybe not <laughs> and they also did an ouija board which looked really cool too but i just as i said i love the aesthetic of this one i also on a separate time went back and i finally found also like that that tray i was looking for last year and i never found it and that's the same for the next thing so i knew that they've done halloween like flannels like washcloth kind of things i've known they've done tea towels and hand towels because i've got quite a few of those <laughs> in a box <laughs> um but i've always wanted to find the flannels because i have a flannel separate to dry my face to keep it separate from my towel and i finally found these they're so cute they're orange i mean they're quite basic to be honest but they're orange and they've got this little embroidered pumpkin face and i just think they're really cute really spooky and it's just 
like this size so perfect to wash or dry your face with so again something very useful which i really like because this was something that i actually needed i only have one flannel and when it's in the wash i'm like ah <laughs> so this was perfect and there was one set so i was really lucky to find these they did come in a set of six and i figured i really didn't need six so i did keep three um and i sold the other three on the halloween group um because i really didn't need six but yeah so i do have some really cute pumpkin flannel so i was pleased that these were useful <laughs> um i have used both of them so that's always good it's not just like sat in a bag kind of like the blanket has <laughs> but yeah those were the last two things from tk maxx as i said um i haven't really found much i was really hoping to find the girl that went along with my little kind of dead looking skeleton guy um but unfortunately i didn't find her i did go into town literally today i also have you might be able to spot my little pumpkin spice frappuccino in the background there um delicious absolutely obsessed <laughs> um i'm actually liking the frappuccino more this year than the latte actually so um but yeah do make sure you get your pumpkin spice at starbucks because they do have it out now I feel really chatty today <laughs> as i was saying um i went into town and this is where i got the majority of the items i'm going to show you next so unfortunately tk maxx is kind of is done it's over with um but this is when the rest of the shops start to bring out their stuff so m s um new look why can't i think of any others oh gosh i'm gonna start this again so m s new look primark tiger claire's next like a few of those kind of shops so i'll start with the new look things so i actually bought these a couple of days ago i absolutely love their halloween socks i get them every single year i was really sad last year because i don't think they did them it was like the year of the lockdown and they didn't do any socks i was really sad because they bring these out every year like in different designs usually they do vampire ones and i've collected each pair over the years um but they've got some really cute designs out this this year and they are three four six pounds if you buy them in store so the first pair are these little ghosts they're actually purple but they're looking more blue on camera but they say peekaboo and they've got the most adorable little ghosts all over them super cute so yeah as i said they are purple i don't know why they're showing up blue but there are these i did do the three for six pounds so i did pick up two of these so these are black with classic orange pumpkins on i absolutely love this design i always find it really difficult to find pumpkin socks that aren't glittery because i hate glittery socks so i did pick up two of these and did the three four six pounds they also do a skeleton design which they had in store but i saw the glitter and i was like oh i don't know i might end up getting them and they have more online that i'd really like they've got orange with bats on so i might do like a click and collect to get the styles that i can't find in store but i did manage to find these and i also found these in store cozy adorable very much needed <laughs> um they also have started doing fluffy socks each year which is literally the best thing ever a few years ago they did like pumpkin ones gray ghosts purple bats and again i've i still have those ones um but this year they did these orange fluffy socks with bats on and i think they're super cute these were how much £4.99 so not bad for fluffy socks their fluffy socks are actually really nice and that's the design of these fluffy sock wise they also did spy did they do spiders i think they did like webs with spiders so i won't be getting those but they also did ghosts so i might order them when i do my click and collect but these were definitely my favorite pair so i was really happy to find these so these are from new look i haven't seen much clothing out apart from like a t-shirt with a skull on it so let me know what you found in the comments because you'll have to let me know <laughs> quickly before i move on to m s this isn't technically halloween but i went into primark and i saw this staring at me as soon as i walked in and i was like yes yes primark <laughs> so this is super simple it's literally a black and white striped jumper but i really like the look of this it looked so cozy i did get it in a small they're sizing 
actually looked the sizing that it was because usually I get leggings in an extra small and I'm definitely not a six. Usually I'd be like a 10 um, with leggings. So I do find their sizing is super inconsistent at the moment. Um, but this actually looked like a small. So I did get this one. It was £12 as you can see on the label. So very good price. It feels really soft, really cosy. Um, it does have like a nice neckline where you could wear a choker with it. Like it's not too high, but it's not too low. Um, and it's just super long and like massive. So that's the neckline of it. It's just so long. <laughs> <laughs> super simple i just thought it looked so cozy and my idea for this is to wear it as a dress with like tights and then maybe put a belt around it so wear it more as a jumper dress with maybe some layered necklaces i feel like that would look really cool or even a statement choker like i've got a choker like this with like huge spikes on it so i feel like that would look really cool i just thought i'd mention it because i was thinking maybe i'll put it in like a clothing goth hall like high street but i really don't find too many pieces kind of all together and then by the time i've mentioned it it's probably gone out of the shop so yeah definitely go and grab yourself one of these if you love the look of it because it's super cozy and yeah definitely like it gave me kill star vibes kind of like their classic pugsley jumper and it's thicker than the kill star ones and it doesn't have holes in it which i just don't feel like makes sense so yeah i thought i'd just mention that quickly because I thought that was quite a good find. <laughs> so the last shop is M&S. Similar to TK Maxx. A bit disappointed. I I love the like butter biscuits they do. Like butter, shortbread. I love the shortbread that they do. And I think that's really cool. And they have brought that back. But I loved their crisps. So a few years ago they did bat and ghost crisps and I loved them. They were my absolute favourite. They just had like this really nice salty taste to them and they were bats and ghosts. They were like my two favourites. And then they stopped doing those a few years ago. And they kept on doing the fang crisps which are kind of like wotsits and they've done those again for quite a few years and this year they're not bringing them back so... They have discontinued my two favourite things. So I've got a few other things instead so i always get one of these this is called the bubbly boo milk chocolate and it's basically a ghost it's like a 3d ghost and it's full of chocolate inside it's really really nice you can kind of see what it looks like well not really <laughs> you can see what it looks like on the packaging there these were 65p i have noticed that their prices have increased but i guess that's with the cost of living crisis so yeah this was 65 i got these I'm not sure how i feel about them i have to try them these are new for this year these say cookies and scream frightful bites with biscuit pieces smothered in screamy i see what they've done there <laughs> white and milk chocolate i have no idea what they look like just says cookies and scream really nice packaging though love that <laughs> so i got these to try these were two pounds again expensive for m&s but i don't think i'll be like rebuying them unless i absolutely am obsessed and the last thing i think is their coolest thing they've bought out this year a lantern <laughs> so last year they did the house and it's got an led tea light inside and it was such a cute design and they do have those again this year but i already have that house not too sure where it's gone but i'm sure i'll find it but this year they bought out lanterns as well and i think that's really clever because if you've already got that house and you still want the biscuits you can buy the lantern so i think that was quite clever and this looks really cute so it's got like a hook so you could hang it up and then it's got all these holes in it with bats as well like these are cut out so then the led in the bottom of it will like flicker and it looks really cool but i thought the design of this looked really nice as well so it's got a haunted house with pumpkins and like kind of different style houses i just think it's really cool and it's got kind of like a green foil effect so you open the lid and then you can get the delicious shortbread biscuits and they're usually in the shape of different like spooky things like pumpkins ghost bats that kind of thing um and then you can have the lantern after so i think that's really cool I love these. I think they're a really cool idea. So I did get the lantern. <laughs> oh, so delicious. <laughs> 
So that is everything. Previously I've done quite a lot of Halloween hauls but this year it doesn't look like I'll do as many. I might do some online shop with me for bigger shops and also small businesses so let me know in the comments which one you'd like to see first. Also as I buy from small businesses like I know Mystic and Luna are releasing a pumpkin and a coffin ring. I need them <laughs> and also there's just like a few other small businesses that are bringing out their Halloween collection now that I'd like to buy from um, I kind of got the things I like from the bigger shops so I am going to now buy from the small businesses make sure you don't forget about the small businesses as well around Halloween because they work super hard and deserve your support too so yeah those will be my next few videos I have lined up but I hope you enjoyed this one anyway hopefully it wasn't as chaotic as it kind of feels like it was <laughs> but yeah do like and subscribe if you enjoyed it and hopefully i will see you in my next video bye